art styles. They come and go, in all kinds of shapes and colors. But why do we worry about them? What does it mean to have one? And most importantly, how do we get one for ourselves? That is all the things we'll be looking at. Well, you may enjoy a little time lapse in the background and relax. By the way, I've gotten some new firmware for my microphone. Let me know if it sounds better or just more awful. I'm even open to non-constructive criticism. Now, first of all, why do you not have an art style? Not drawing in a particular art style is a blessing. It means that you have the choice of going every kind of path you want with it. Most of the time, having no art style is a symptom that spurs from just not drawing enough. Most likely, you are at the beginning of your art career and you try to draw in a few different styles you like, but none of them are particularly easy to replicate. It's hard to copy drawings of your idols and even harder to draw something new the way they do. That is very common and absolutely not a bad thing to be doing. You're searching for the things you like and trying to implement them yourself. Having no art style is a phase almost everyone has to go through and will most likely stick a little while longer than you'd like. But once you made it, you will have learned many things from various artists and have a unique style to your drawings with which others will be able to tell you apart from the masses. Keep in mind that your art style is not something you have to choose consciously. It flows into your drawings when you don't think about it. So don't stress yourself and just draw what you like the way you like it. Let's get to the question about why we worry about art styles so much. And the answer to that is super simple. Because we are told to. How many videos on how to find your art style are there? And how many tricks to find it fast have you watched? All these things give us the impression that an art style is something you need. And when you need it and don't have it, you obviously stress about it. Surely there are ways to find out if you like a cartoony or more realistic way of drawing. But developing your own style just takes a huge amount of time and dedication and drawing practice paired with studying and observation. Sprinkle a little bit of your favorite artists on top and bang, you got your own art style. It's easier said than done though. Let's move on to what it means to have an art style. It's a question you might have asked yourself a few times already. And just like before, the answer is actually pretty simple. It means that you have drawn for long enough and pursued your interests and tastes in art for such an expanded period of time that you have developed your own way of resembling things when you draw them. Most of the time, it is a mash of all things you like about other artists. It means that you have made an active effort to draw for so long that you got your unique way of doing things. It's like the way an author writes his books, or the way I speak, or more like the way I can't speak. But these are all things we do enough to develop our own way of doing it. So having your own art style means that you have drawn for long and deserve some congratulations. And now, last but not least, how do I get my own art style? So now we are at the point where everybody was waiting for. How do I get my own art style? Well, an art style is something you can develop fast and slow. And it always changes. Sometimes you develop some stylistic changes in your art overnight. And sometimes it takes years. And what also changes is your art style all the time. It is never the same. It can change depending on your mood, depending where you are or what kind of media you're using. An art style is also not something you are just awarded from the art god himself once you got to 5000 hours of drawing time. Once you first pick up a pencil and draw something, it will start to develop and it will always change into something you like more and more. There is no real point where you can say this is an art style. You are drawing in your art style all the time. There is only the point where you say that you're happy with your art style because you have adapted enough of the things that you like about other artists in their art in order to be satisfied with the outcome of your own. So the real question should be how to change my art style into something I like. And that, my friends, is something you most likely don't want to hear. First, you will need five horns of the North American bull goat, a two-year-old pufferfish and a shit ton of mayonnaise. Throw all that together into a boiling pot of water. 
it will not have affected your drawings. But what it did is teach you that in order to affect your drawing skills and drawing styles, you actively have to improve upon them and not rely on the old magic we were taught in third grade. You get your art style to be what you want it to be with practice, dedication and knowing what you want. It's that simple. Alright, I'll let the time lapse resume in the background for a few minutes. And with that said, please don't bully the bull goats. I don't care what you do with the magnes. I don't like that stuff anyway. And happy drawing. This is not a hidden message for anyone watching till the end. This is just a thank you for everyone. If you see it or not, I thank you all. Goodbye.